Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Farm Sim 19. This is Sandy Bay, episode number three, and it is a beautiful morning here in mid spring. We're halfway through that point of spring now, not just by name, but literally. We're partway into that fifth day of nine for the cycle, and we have our first harvest of grass that is ready to go. Now, of course, we have three sections of field. Uh, we have the full field here, which is 39. It's a small field, uh, but it's got a little bit of size to it anyway. Oddly shaped compared to some others. And we're beginning with this one. But then we have the farm itself. There you are. See the shadow of the helicopter flying overhead? <laughs> we have the the field and the pig farm area themselves. We're gonna mow both of those as well. Just one of the three sections will be used in order to uh, create hay bales. And I think we're gonna use the yard for that. We'll try the yard. So pig field 39 and if we want maybe we'll make a run around 14 and 15 as well uh, to get all that we can. Those areas are going to be bailed up right away and wrapped right away to make silage so we can actually start turning a little bit of a profit on our farm. But then the field area, we're going to use the tether, turn that, dry it out so that we can make hay to take care of our field itself. So Dad's busy uh, working away at the... Uh, the grass field. He's already got a good head start on the field itself. And I've got the rest of the equipment right here in the area ready to go. Got the wind rower hooked up and I'll begin work with that. Here? Yeah, oh yeah, we're good. Now it's first time through, I'm gonna look mostly at just kind of pulling in the edges a little bit and then we might clean it up, straighten it out a little bit so that it's easier to pick up and bail. So we're going to probably overlap this row as we go through back and forth. There's a lot of trees, hedgerows along the outer edges of this field. WASD keyboard curse. And glitching. Oh yeah. The everyone's at home for the coronavirus and all playing at the same time, causing the server to overload and create lag that's not normally in-game, except during peak hours. Which apparently is all the time right now. <laughs> Should be in some of that lag as well. Of course, the hay bales, purpose for those are going to be to feed the pigs. But the silage bales are meant for profit. We don't necessarily need to sell them immediately. Uh, we could take a look at the market. Yes, we're going to have to 
Woo. Pull out of this one a little bit here. We passed it, yes. And there's enough reason to come through this a second time. I think from here I can probably keep things relatively straight so it's easy for the bale, the baler to get through and pick up the swath. And then we'll just have to kind of go one more time through that very, very beginning area. Now this field is obviously new. We just bought the farm. It has not been fertilized at all. So this is not the yield that it could be or should be later on in the game. Um, as we acquire the amount of manure we need, we're going to see the yield pick up quite a bit on these fields. I would expect that with the Seasons mod in place, we should be able to harvest the grass about three times per year. got all the equipment we need so this should be a relatively painless process and at the same time we also have what we need to I'm go ahead and peel off this original first row and leave it be there we go so we'll start our pickup from there later on uh, we also have a bale cell point right on the farm and that is ridiculously convenient meaning people are coming straight to us to buy silage I like that You can tell that that outside swath actually really isn't that big. That is far from a full row. So this is going to take us a little bit to get around and around and around, but we're also working a much, much wider path than the mower is. We don't have any rear mowers yet, so it's just a front mower currently. Uh, when we have the money, we'll obviously want to invest in the double rear mower. Uh, might as well start picking up what's out here. Otherwise, what's the point? And that'll certainly speed the process up. Now, with the three fields we have currently that have grass, I do think we are in relatively good shape to have plenty of, of hay for those straw bales 
and maintain a large quantity of pigs. Also, of course, right across the street from where we're at right now, um, just over this hedgerow and then across the street, is the cow field that would be a good worthwhile investment for us uh, in the not too distant future but of course in order to maintain pigs and cows we're going to obviously need to uh, step up our production so I think we're going to need to expand to some fields around the area and especially get to that point where we're producing our own corn crop in order for that to uh, be effective for us. Gonna ahead and take this aside for a moment though. Uh, going around at this point is not efficient as a use for our time. So we'll park up that wind rower and get a start on bailing. Just the entrance to the field is right back over here. Baylor and wrapper. Okay, Do we have hoses. to get it unfolded. Lower the tray. And uh, right here, around the corner here is where we'll start. And we can begin picking up. Oh, love the animations there. You can see the gears turning, grinding. You can see the PTO working the gears there. Oh, fantastic mod work here. John Deere 690. Now I'm in the smaller tractor. It is struggling a little bit. Our motor load is at 99% and we're only getting 10-12% on the slip yet I'm only moving three miles an hour so it is rather slow. Ooh, okay nice we don't need to stop. This one will, will immediately kick out the first bale. There you go. Starts to push out the bale and begin work on the next one. And you can manually unload these and then get far enough out, or it'll just continue to push it right off the back. This is definitely going to take a while. So at least between this process, the bailing, and getting back to the wind rowing as we make our way around and get caught up on that front, go ahead and use the time lapse until we get to the point where we're going to be the bail wrapper.
All right, so the first field, field 39, is fully cut. It is been windrowed. It has been baled. And after playing around with it for a bit, this Anderson Hybrid Extractor. It's an interesting piece of machinery. First off, it is the only one in the game, anyway, that does square bales. In terms of wrapping. So our hands are a little bit tied in terms of options and so we got this, this piece of machinery and it took a little bit to, to figure it out. Uh, for one it needs to be installed each bale individually but the size of the bales they're too heavy to pick up so we're having to use a tractor to 
install them and then it will bail everything together meaning it's going to wrap all of these bales one after another after another after another unless you individually get out and take each bale and separate it from the stack so in some respects this is best done as a two-person job but you'll see here in a moment that it certainly can be done as a one-person job but every time before I go to load the next bale which it certainly can do I need to hop over get onto the controls and physically unload the previous bale so that we can actually get individual bales Now it is self-propelled. It's like a little mini tractor. It's got its own internal engine. And as it pushes the bales away, it actually pushes itself away a little bit. It's got, kind of cute how it works. <laughs> but as it unloads those bales, it, it does that. Now the, tra the trailer, it's an auto loader. And so it works so much easier instead of going around the yard and picking these up one by one by one by one and putting them in that thing and then having all your bales in the field. It makes so much more sense to do what I'm doing here. Bring it to the yard and set everything up here. Unload, hop over, get in the tractor, and unload the next bale. So. We ended up with 24 bales. Wait. Are you gonna load? Oh, there it goes. That was the first time it got a little wonky on that. I might need to pull this trailer up a little bit closer now that the back half has been unloaded. Do that after this one. Ah, too high. There we go. Pretty small window of uh, area to work now. Unload, hop out, get back in. And it works. Two people, that's easy, because one can just stay on the controls. Oh, I'm a little too far. There you go. Oh, that's the first. Get in there. Scoot you back forward. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and move this up. One thing we've got to be careful of is the bale cell point is right there behind the baler. So we are kind of playing with fire being near here. And as they are grass right now, they have zero value with the season's mod. So got to be careful not to lose our bales. I didn't hook up the uh, hoses, so it's not moving terribly well. Now, meanwhile, while I'm working on this, uh, Dad is mowing the yard. Uh, we don't use this side of the yard. It is around the back side uh, of these storage barns here. But uh, that is where we are storing a lot of our equipment, uh, as much of it is just too large for the storage spaces in here. Let's 
can see it's pushing itself out a bit. It clears out that bale. That's the field that we are planning on tethering, so uh, we're going to turn that grass and use that to make hay bales. The rest of this will be sold. So as we go to finish off this episode, what I'm doing now is using the tether to turn the grass. So it, it takes the underside, the moisture on the, the underside of the grass, flips it over, and that helps the grass dry out a lot faster, making hay, making straw. So uh, this will speed that process along. Now one thing though is I haven't had a chance to really look at what the weather is. Oh gosh, we're looking at a shower today, <laughs> but then dry for a while. So it's actually a good thing we are doing this because it's going to bring a lot of moisture, uh, which is going to make this stuff mold and go bad pretty quick. We're going to lose uh, a good amount of grass, most likely. So we do need this to dry out as fast as possible. But uh, we'll see how the weather treats it. If it rains and it looks normal green grass again, uh, maybe this afternoon after the shower is done, maybe possible. I don't know. Can we ted it? 
use the tether again, turn the grass over one more time and help it dry out. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have a hard time getting what we need from this harvest of grass. Back up a little further. Here we go. Next up is the pig field. And we are going to turn that one straight into uh, silage. So I will bale it, wrap it, and then after it turns to silage, we'll get that one sold. So most of the work is for profit. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.